A free bird jumps on the back of the wind and floats downstream till the currents end and dips its wings in the bright sun rays and dares to claim the sky. But a cage bird stands on the grave of dreams, often shouting a nightmare scream. Its wings are clipped, its feet are tied, so it opens its mouth to sing. The cage bird sings with a fearful trill of things unknown but longed for still. And its song is heard on a distant hill, for the caged bird sings of freedom. Denise Marlowe, you are now listening to the Drunken Monks Podcast. Yeah, that is always fun, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Let's make it clap. Wow. Salud. She does that to me every episode. She does that to me every episode where I would do the thing of being a proper sound guy. I would make the clap. And she always says, well, let's make it clap. One of the worst Sean Paul songs that ever came out. Sean Paul. Yeah. One of the worst ones. Hi. 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 Hello. <laughs> hi, everybody. Hello. 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 Give us a minute to introduce you and then uh-huh. we'll be right back. Denise, hi. Hi, Marlo. We're back. We're back. We have an interesting friend. Very interesting. interesting friend. Yep. <laughs> we have an interesting friend. Uh, but yeah, people, my name is Marla Brown. Denise Faber. We are? The Drunken Monks. And we are back once again. Uh, we was off like last week, had a little bit of a hink and a hunk when it came to uh, scheduling and schedules and so on. But a, but a week off is always uh, Yeah. Fun. Yes. And uh, We're back at the House of Café and Fino. And yeah. And, Cafino. Um, the week off was good so that I could flush out some of the Borgo as well, man. <laughs> it was working a little too good, dude. I was getting loose. <laughs> Everybody, we're in the house of Borgo here in Groteberg. You yeah. can also find Borgo at Cafino in Ceylonia. Si so come si through. I think Marlo and our guests are drinking Borgo 8. Yes, sir. And I'm still on the wine. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um... Yeah. Shall we introduce our guests or shall we say because I think that that's enough like a like housekeeper for Yes, sure. let's let's jump right in it. Hi. Into Ladies it. and gentlemen, between us you see a very interesting lay lady. She has an interesting hairstyle, a wonderful smile, and an energy for days. Oh and, my oh, lord. But hold on, but but here's where the true slammerai comes in. Apparently she's a fan of ours. Uh, yes, I am. like apparently like she's been listening to us and checking us for like years now, yeah. like or whatever. And I gotta say Welcome, Miss Deborah Samuels. Hi. Thank you. Hi. Thank hi, you. Hi, hi. Yes. And uh, I wasn't the one that hooked this one up, y'all. Like she reached out to. No, I Denise, think under the con. No, in the comments, I think one time you were saying something about you were commenting on the or complimenting the um, podcast, and we started talking, and uh, the rest is history. Well, the rest yeah. is history. So welcome, so, uh, Miss Deborah Samuels. Well, thank Samuel. you, Samuel. Yes, I look forward. You know, I like I said, I watch you guys, and it, interesting. All right. Energetic. Really? Yes. All right. Yes. Really? Even yes. when we're slap fighting each other. Even when we're yes. Like yes. disagreeing and whatnot. You, you play off well. All know. right. There you go. All right. But no, but, but yeah, but um, in in basically talking to her guys, as far as we could tell, she's had an interesting life and we'd like to share some of that with y'all. And uh, we'd like to be able, be able to ask her about some of her life and definitely what her decision is because you are American, right? Yes, I am. You, born and raised born where? Born and raised in Washington, D.C., USA. There you go. And the, f- and the journey from there to here because you live here. Yes, I do. She lives here. I have here. my residency. She has Ooh, residency. Get it on Salute the- for oh, that. Salute for that. <laughs> wow. Very very well. There you go. But, anyway. but, but how does an American come to Curacao when usually Americans do not know about Curacao? How yeah. I got here. My cousin. Your cousin. My cousin. She's a world traveler. Ooh. With five kids okay. and a husband. Okay. Wow. And um, I went to Cartagena yeah. to visit with her mm. for, stayed there for about six weeks. Yeah. Because she was living in Cartagena she was at the time? Cartagena at the time. Yeah. Mm. And I, told, I didn't like Cartagena. And, no. you know, it was just too busy, 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 too big. I yeah. didn't care for that. Yeah. So I went back to the United States, and I started studying in Panama. Okay. Okay. And why why uh, Panama? Because Panama offers so many great discounts oh, yeah. for seniors. Oh, yeah. And okay. it's close to the USA. 
Okay. Yeah, okay. And they have a hospital there that's called John Hopkins, oh, yeah. which yeah. is also affiliated with, with the, the United John States. Right, yeah. right, right. And I have a lot of chronic illnesses. Ah, oh, yeah. So it's like, hey. But before I got to go to Panama, my cousin had moved here. The cousin from Cartagena? Yes. Okay. And also, we all grew up in Washington, D.C. together. But then yeah. she says, come to Curacao and visit. Okay. I was like, what the hell? Mm. I'll come for four weeks. And I'm moving to Panama. Right. And I told her that. She's yeah. like, oh, she calls me auntie. Auntie, do you really want to go to Panama? So I said, I'm not making any plans for six weeks. Yeah. Right. Four weeks here. I called my daughter. <laughs> yeah. Put the house, put my house on the market. <laughs> and she says, you're selling the family house? I says, no, hell no. Selling my house. Uh -huh. And I'm passing uh -huh. the torch to you to go get your own. Uh -huh. so I'm selling my house because she's my real estate. I'm, I'm in a real. I'm a real estate agent, licensed real estate agent. Okay. She, my daughter's my broker. Mm. So I called and said, "Put my house on the market. I'll be back in six weeks to pack up." Oh word! And that's exactly just what I based on four weeks in Curacao. Four weeks. But that's but can I ask, like no no go ahead. Go ahead. No, I want to say, isn't that crazy? Because four weeks. As a tourist, four weeks of fun, cocktails on the beach, dancing, uh, whatever, meeting interesting people. <laughs> is different from like really living here day to day. Yes. Especially, especially in September. Mm. Yes. Especially in September. Well, and I came in uh, mm. November. So we are right after the heat. Right, so I didn't get to feel the heat. Right. Yeah. But it was the people. It's us, Marlo. It's us. It's the people. Nah, That's what, y'all. Like, the people. I'm not a Yurikar, so I'm not a Yurikar. Oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah. No, really. The, 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 the people. The energy that I felt. You know, really? I, let, let me say this. You know the barbershop? Uh, boy, what's the name of the barbershop? It's down in Punda, around where you catch the bus at. ST something. Uh, uh, Stuckstra. Yes, yes. Stuckstra. I went in there to get a haircut. Yeah. About my... Third week here. Your hair was already short? Mm, not a little longer. Okay, a little yeah, longer. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah, okay. yeah, like that. So I went to get a haircut and I cut it all off. Yeah. And I left out the barber shop and I'm walking past the Plaza Blue. Yeah, Bio. Bill. Yeah. Bill. Yeah. First get on me because I The market Bio. where you can get traditional food. Yeah. Which is great. Yeah. So I found myself twirling around. And I just said I was shy, right? Yeah. I'm twirling around the street, throwing my arms up, saying, I'm fucking home. Wow. I'm home. Really? And weight just lifted off of my shoulders. Really? And then what 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 like, brought what was, the feeling? Exactly. About? That was my question too. I, like, light. Light. All right. Happy. You felt free. light. Free. Peace of mind. Peace of mind. Peace of and mind. Then. Peace of heart. And you don't and you don't feel that you could get that peace of mind, peace of heart in the States? Like another place than Washington, maybe? I I I live. I've been in the United States. I, I moved here when so I was 66 when I first got here. Yeah. yeah. Um, I've had enough of it. I yeah. knew that that not, Washington, D.C., um, United States wasn't for me. I've been okay. in, I lived in Miami. I lived in other states. And it just, it just wasn't me. But then, what, okay. but then what is you and what wasn't you in the States? Then? In the States? And what is you here? Like, like, like what? Here. The, just, just seeing a lot of people that look like me, first of all. Amen, sister. Looking like me. <laughs> looking like me, but happy looking like me. Oh, wow. Yes. And That's... you guys live, I don't know, because you, you're here. So I, I don't know if you take it for granted, because you're here. Right. In the United States, we are virtually, we don't live. We exist, and we're beginning to understand we exist. We get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock, we go to work. It's dark. We get home, it's dark. Yeah. We pet the kids on the head. We kiss the husband. We go to hell to bed after we cook dinner. Mm -hmm. And we do it again and again. We don't go outside. We but, don't do anything. But, stuff. but one big we difference, go. I think, is you are retired now. Or at least, yeah. yeah. Well, semi retired. Well, I'm retired now that I'm here. Even, okay. though I hold my, oh, even though I hold my real estate license. Okay, but you never know. Because call yeah. me once in a while and say, hey. Yeah. So I call my daughter. Yeah. I say, Fix it. Denise wants a house. And take care of her, and I'll stay involved. Yeah. Right. And we okay. stay on the phone, and yeah. we, we but, get the deal done. Okay, but so in in the States, you would probably also reach this point that you don't have to wake up at five and do the whole shebang and only to, you know, but then, be in the rat race. But then we had the justice system. 
Oh yeah. The, what, the unjust system, as I call it, in the United yeah. States. Yep, you know, yep, yep, yeah. Yep, yep. I went to Jamaica back in the 80s, and this Jamaican told me, you know what USA stands for? I said, what? You stand alone. Oh, wow. And it never left me. Wow. Because it's true. Wow. It's true. So it's interesting. And it's profound because you say, okay, you, you identify, identify with you stand alone. And... Um, what hits me, you came alone, you as 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 Jabra, you by yourself with yeah. your suitcases, came alone to mm -hmm. Curacao. Mm -hmm. And you still and you don't have that feeling of standing alone, even no. though you're in a foreign place with weird people. No, no, and you, weird you, language. Weird language. Weird language, man. Languages. <laughs> Plural. Languages. <laughs> Plural. And you do a lot. You use English, you use American money. Mm -hmm. You speak the language. So it was very easy to fit in and incorporate myself. Uh, it, yeah. was, it was the energy more than anything. If okay. I did not, if you didn't speak English, yeah. I still would have probably stayed. Oh, wow. uh, Because of the energy. If you didn't use American money, I probably would have still. I, I just fell in love with the people and the energy. And the fact that Alan is small. I didn't yeah. want yeah, a okay. huge... Place. Right, 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 right. But could you give me some examples of the energy that you're talking about? Like, could you give me some Peaceful some things? People. You, my first landlord here, she is 80, and she just found love. Oh, just found love at 80. Yeah. With her, 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 a new love. Yeah, a new love. And yeah. her and her her fiance is 84. <laughs> I'm 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 I'm, 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 I'm still I'm still Americanized. Yeah. I'm in my look because you know she. Had the big house, as yeah. they do here, and I love yeah. the way the concept. They build a big house, and they build a little small house. So when you're ready to retire, you yeah. rent the big house, you go to the yeah. small house. Yeah. So I lived in a little small house, yeah. and I would be laying on the sofa, all balled up like an American, all just tired and bored and shit. And I hear them coming in at yeah. 1.30, and they're giggling. They're on the porch. <laughs> they're playing dominoes. They're playing music. I'm yeah. like, we don't do that anymore like we used to. Like we used I was about to say because if it's one thing that I know is a little bit of of like the of like the American, like the Black American mythical life, like the cookouts and the gatherings. Yeah, but that's what we get from TV and shows. Exactly, yes. but that's what I'm saying. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And we still do it, but not on a scale like we used to. Right. It's just. It's just. As I was getting older, I started seeing things change. But then the guns, the killings. The just the, the the system there is not fair. Mm. Right. You know, it's not. You know, I've watched too many brothers and sisters that I know got killed. Yeah. You know, afraid. I was even. I got. I found myself being one of those seniors. Yeah. They said, "Okay, we only go to store at ten o'clock in the morning, and we don't go out after six in the evening." It's like yeah. that's bullshit. Yeah. yeah. I refuse. Yeah. To live that kind of life. Yeah. And. But that's but that's but that's DC. Like that's like. That's the United States. A word. It's the United States. Word. DC is better because of the blackness and the power, but take your ass out to Nebraska, somewhere like that. You don't know going down the street if you're gonna get hung. I mean, they're still doing hangings there. I mean, it's, it's and I hate to talk about it. It's not, I'm just telling the truth, shit. Right. It's just the mm -hmm. truth. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us don't wanna, we're beginning to open up and be honest about America. Right. You know, it's too costly. It's just okay. I, I want to say our, our cost of living, Curacao's cost of living is, is high. You guys say that, and I'm like, no, but the cost of living, but it's all but it's, it's all it, relative. Yeah, yeah, everything is relative. But not just that. that, but the cost of living here, we we have taxes, and our taxes work for us. So like, and our, like our cost of living is, yeah, our taxes are high, but at the same time. You got S V B, you got, you know, like Delta right. Del yeah. right. and like and, and the system point. works. Good point. In the States, the cost of living is high and you don't have insurance. And you do have insurance and we pay out of our ass. Yeah. But I still have a copay. My copay in the United States was more than the X ray here. Basically. Wow. And I couldn't believe it. Mm. But then to come to a country as small as you guys are, yeah. and you get when I, I'm like, what the hell you mean? I get free health care. There's no damn way. What is free health care? Yeah. Mm. You don't get free health care. Yeah. Nowhere. But here, and I, I almost felt guilty. Yeah. <laughs> I did. So I should. I don't have a I don't have to pay nothing, no copay, no nothing. So I kept going around asking people, don't I supposed to pay taxes or something on this insurance? Yeah. They're like, no. they just pay your insurance. So I'm like, what the hell is that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and 
I unfortunately am a frequent flyer in the hospital. Yeah. Oh yeah. Thirty five years. Even here. No. Oh. My health has made a huge turnaround. Huge turnaround. Huge. So I was I was saying earlier, my daughter, I always say I a hundred percent I've changed my, my health is a hundred percent better. I came here on eight prescriptions. Yeah. I'm down to three. But that could also be the American way. Americans, yes. as I know, yes, prescribe a prescription do. for whatever. Yes. We like my, nail, my, my nail, yeah, my nail broke. <laughs> prescription. Overdue. But, but then they got us on all that medicine and things, and especially the payments. Oh, yeah. And then white people started yeah. ODing. Oh, yeah. Then, they, then yeah. they just cut it out. Yeah. So they took oh. us from 180 pills to 60 a month, regardless. Oh. So... They didn't give a shit. Now, I tell people here, they said, how's the health care here? Honestly, I have been treated better here. The doctors seem to listen more, mm. more understanding. I had one bad experience at the emergency room. Yeah. It was a doctor from the USA. Really? And I had to tell his ass off. <laughs> so I didn't move here for your shit. Oh. Go back to the United States of freaking America. Cause don't, and I even told the other Yo. doctors there, don't allow Americans to come over here Yo. and ruin what you guys have. Yeah, but yeah. but that listen, but that it's all relative thing because locals here, Dutch people here would swear that you crazy. Would swear that Yeah, they oh, say the healthcare system is in shambles. Oh, yeah, oh, people are killing people oh, in the hospital. Absolutely. I, uh, and this and, and I constantly tell my I, 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 Dutch associates, take your ass back somewhere else because you're getting free health care. They say, oh, you wait so long to get an appointment. Yeah. You do in the no, United that, States too. No, but yeah, that's, that's, okay. that's a bit of a Dutch thing too, man. Like that's a bit of a, like, it's an American Dutch, it's, it's Dutch. Right, right. Like, like that entitlement of it has to happen. The now. USA entitlement, the Dutch entitlement. And I found right. the Dutch right. entitlement here is the same as the US entitlement. When I first got here, I'm like, Damn it, when's somebody gonna wait on me? Somebody came up to me and said, Poka Poka. It's Poka Poka. Poka Poka. Take it easy. Calm it easy. Down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I realized, I'm, oh, you're bringing that arrogant American attitude here. I smiled at the waitress and said, thank you. Yeah. So that's helped me. But you know, it's refreshing to talk to you because. If you're here, you take a lot of things for granted. Yeah. You don't. And then now I'm looking at it from yeah. from your perspective. I'm like, okay, we're not half as bad. Like we complain, we, 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 we complain about the Dutch, but we complain a lot on this show also. <laughs> Dude, and now I'm listening to you. I'm like, okay. I complain about the Dutch. Real, like okay, I need to adjust okay. myself. I experience with the Dutch. Oh, okay. let's bring it on, sister. Oh, I, oh, I just gazed the other night. Yeah. It's the the, the nice. LGBTQ hey, bar on Curacao. So we're out dancing and everything, and I had to roll up on this Dutch female because she <laughs> oh, came Lord. to me. What? Putting her finger Lately. on the dance floor. And I told her wife, girlfriend, whatever, she's a sister. I said, You didn't teach her how to talk to us? <laughs> oh, Lord. Said, don't tell her, don't do that. And I wasn't told. I said, Don't ever approach me like that again. I said, Because. Pointing your finger, you could have got it broke or bit off. Don't do that again. You will, you will get got. Yeah. So her, her girlfriend came on later on and came back. She said, Deborah, I'm really sorry. I said, you need to talk to her. Uh, exactly. She got pissed off. We were dancing, me and her friend. I think that's what the whole shit was about. But then I was videotaping myself. Oh, she didn't want to be on the video. I was. And, and she didn't was know, But she didn't know you were filming on yourself. me. Yeah. yeah. That's not the way you approach people. Yeah. She came up, I don't be, no, 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 no. It's like, yeah, but that's the Dutch that's, thing. That's the Dutch finger, huh? Yes. Right, but hold on, but hold on, but hold on. But that, but it's so that she's not accidentally out or something? Like, right. Because, maybe, you right, don't that, know. You know, that, you know, you do have people that are still closeted. But right. I also say, if you bring your butt out in public, then that's what it. happens, what happens? Exactly, you know, but that's it. I, 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 no, I don't. I don't rightly, I would ask, like, there was a couple there. Yeah. Well, I thought they were a couple, but they were so cute. And she says, that's not my boyfriend. He's gay and I'm straight. Because I asked them first. They were dancing so cute and looked yeah. so... Yeah. I said, can I... Can I? They look so... Said, together. And, yeah. They look so and, they just, and they were laughing and having such a great time. And she says, no, no, no. She says, my mom don't know. I'm, you know, I come uh, okay. So, I, so I, I will ask. 
Right. You know, but there's a way also, if you see my camera and you think I've got you in it, so then approach just ask, me. Yeah. yeah, just ask me, see what's going and on. And I, I will show you. Oh, oh, you know, I'll delete. Yeah, yeah, exactly that. You know, so I just, the only experience I had bad was the Dutch so far. Was two. I, walk, I, look, I go for a walk through Blue Bay. Damn, the street is wide enough. God is blowing his horn. I'm looking at him like, you entitled MF. Yeah. But what do you meant? You should move so he yeah, can no, pass? Right. Yeah. No, no, wait, 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 wait. But he had enough room. Stop or something? You're allowed to say motherfucker here, sweetheart. Okay. Well, <laughs> this MF. entitled yeah. motherfucker. Yes. yes. Thank this you. entitled motherfucker. I'm, like, I'm looking at like, it's, it's, it's 7 30 in the morning. You play it on your horn. And yeah. you and you and you throwing your hands up in the air. Yeah. So it's like wow. Yeah. So but but the beauty of it is, he ran his car into a tree. <laughs> that would have been great. But no, being here and just bouncing off of you guys' energy. Yeah. Has he was able to let it go. Me. He was I able to let it go. To take a deep breath. Yeah. Just. And and let it go. Poco poco. Poco poco. All right. All right. I believe in poco poco. <laughs> <laughs> I went back to the United States and my cardiologist says whatever you're doing. Keep, Keep doing it, it. All right. Keep it up. So this on that one, guys. Uh, uh, I, uh, you left? Um, no, we're we, gonna, we, we, right. gonna re up. No, yeah, we'll, no, we'll talk, and then once we go to the break, I'll re up. No problem. All right, yeah. cool. Okay. Then, all right, but then let me ask just one last mm -hmm. thing, and let her ask one last thing before we go to break. Okay. Right. Um, you came here. You uh -huh. came here from the states, one and so, right? Mm-hmm. I'm assuming you have family. Like I'm assuming huge that huge family, a very huge, huge family. family. And that that decision was also a bit abrupt. So yes. So how did yes. all of that play out? My and son was not happy. Your son was not happy. Yeah, you have a son. He says, "Mom, you got illnesses and you're sick." And I says, "Son, there's fucking hospitals everywhere." There you go. So yeah, I, but you can say like a hospital in not, in, in New really York is world. different from a hospital in let's say you know I don't want to say a country to um, stigmatize them, but there are what? some countries that you know you have to bring I, your I, own. I go to a hospital in China. Fuck y'all. Okay, okay, fine. <laughs> See, I don't I don't, I don't know about their hospital, so I don't know. Yeah. But I know about the United States hospitals. Yeah. And I know how I was treated there being a black woman. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, fair and enough. I didn't like it. You know, not, I'm not going to say 100% Which is of it a was real sucked. thing, by the way. That's it is. It's really real, bad. real, real, like, really black bad. women have the we, most, and like, bad experiences because of all kinds yeah. of reasons. I started say. getting sick in 1990. Yeah. So I had decades of experiences yeah. with the system. Yeah. You know, and... Being an outspoken black woman, you know, they don't like it. They yeah. Like it. And I, I'm not going to let you just keep on shitting on me either. You just can't. You're going to treat me with respect and dignity. But, well, yeah, okay, I hear you. But, okay, you lived in D.C. Yes. With a, with a big black population. Chocolate city. <laughs> It is not Chocolate City anymore. Well, let me change. Uh, my, my new saying is, it is Chocolate City. It's Swiss Chocolate. It's oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Dear Lord. But they did the really, they, they, they you know, gentrified the, gentrified the hell out of their place. They gentrified what they the did was, and it was, and it was black people, black lenders and shit that did this to yeah. old people that owned their houses for 60, 70 years. Yeah, they gave that's them a horrible. They hundred thousand dollars you know, with house 200000 White person came in there. And the house immediately yeah. went to a million dollars. Yeah, yeah. My friend, I told you, this is moving here. Yeah. Her first condo when she bought it was a hundred, and she bought it for hundred and twenty thousand. It's seven hundred thousand then. Because why? She got all white neighbors. That's what it is. But wait, 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 wait. Okay, yes, okay, gentrification. But okay, before, wouldn't you see that blackness also in in the healthcare system? Are there not black doctors, black nurses, black staff in the hospital? Yes, but they also feel like their hands are tied. They almost kowtow uh, to yeah. the system. Yeah. yeah. You know? and, and not all of them. You will get some that will be okay. Yeah. You know? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That you will know, take will. care of other people right. no matter what it right. is or whatever. Right. Because when it comes to payments, you know, they, they have this book called the American Journal of Health. Yeah. They have an article in that book. It says black people are built different, oh, so they can take pain better. Oh yeah. So we get less pain meds, yeah. and, they, and and you literally do because I talk to my white friends. I'm like, you got five milligrams of what? 
Oh, wow. And I've got one. Yeah. Yeah. So then when I speak up on then, it, then, I'm, I'm, I'm wrong. But here's, but here's where karma hits their ass. Just not to cut you off. Yeah, yeah. Here's where karma hits their ass. Just real, real quick. And I'll look straight in the camera and I'll say, I don't give a fuck. Schadenfreude. Oh, you were just schadenfreude. Yo, I haven't said it this whole season. Now it's back. Yo. But enlighten uh, Deborah, please. You know, but it's like that same bias is probably what got that fentanyl shit going off right now to like as well. Because they feel that they're... Y'all got a fentanyl problem? Yo, no, no, no. No, oh, they're not here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, in the States. So yeah. they give their, their the white patients... All of it. patients, and they feel like, oh, 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 they need more because they're softer. So, like, that myth cuts both ways. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, the black people are stronger, so they don't need as much. Right. White people are softer, so they need more. And right. then you give them one too much, and there goes the neighborhood. You know what there I mean? goes the neighborhood. That's what it is. And the kids are in the car with yeah. the parents in there, the white parents in there with the babies in the car. Yeah. And, they all, and they couldn't take it. They could. And then what I tell people it pisses me off, when we had the crack academic, you made a strike. Three strikes, you out, and you went to jail for five years with black people. Mm. Fentanyl. Fentanyl came around. All kind of government programs, all this and that. I was just like, of course, man. Yeah. So all that kind of stuff enraged me. Yeah. Because I, I like my friend gets on me. She says, Deborah, you think the world is fair? Why can't it just be fair? Why we can't all just get the fuck along? Or more yeah. fairer. It yeah, doesn't have her. to be this. Right. Like, like the gap doesn't have to be this big. Right. Let's, that, yo, that, yeah. let's get it here. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Can we, like, can yeah, we do yeah, something? Yeah. So yeah. all of that, you know, living like that, it's just. And I got in a lot of trouble in the United States being outspoken. Mm -hmm. You know, the cops would stop me, you know, for shit. And I, I, I'm the most mild, calm person. I don't do shit that I shouldn't do. I don't speak. I don't do all that. But yet and still, because of the type of car you drive, mm -hmm. now you're pulled over. Mm -hmm. and, and then I speak up. You're driving and in I a mean, big fancy right. car. Like, what? And then he says, the cop will say something, and I say, shit. And they say, <laughs> oh, man, we're going to arrest I can't fucking curse. Oh, you're going to curse again? Get out the car. Resisting arrest. So I'm like, let me just get yeah. out before I get killed. Right, okay, I, I before we go to break, because then we really have to go to break, I hear you talking about the black experience and the, like, the negative sides of it and basically racism. Mm -hmm. um, have you experienced any racism or discrimination here in Curacao? Being a black have woman. Have because because yeah. colorism is, can be a thing here as well, yeah. for example. Yeah. Yeah. Again, I no, except for that one doctor mm. at the damn hospital, <laughs> because he pretty much told me one shit wrong with me. But then okay. find out, then the black doctor comes in, and she says, "Wait a minute, let's go get the pacemaker." He lied. He, you know, the blood pressure cup yeah, they yeah. put on you and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So he said he was monitoring my pacemaker. Yeah. You can't monitor pacemaker from that. Right. So I talked to the nurse about it. Yeah. So the nurse wouldn't talk to him. But then the she got female somewhere. doctor came back in. Uh, probably she went to get another right. doctor. And she right. she ordered for them to bring the pacemaker machine up that and call it interrogate your pacemaker. Oh. So she stood there. She said, ah, there it is. It's skipping. That's what's causing you the trouble. Oh, yeah. She says, you need to be admitted. Huh. White doctor's ready to send me home. That's what I heard you so and I don't, you know... Again, you and when I talk about the USA, it's not that we don't have some good shit, but the bad is beginning to overweigh it. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if it's because I'm getting older and I'm just sick of the bullshit because I've been doing it all my life there right. and, and kowtowing and trying to fit the system. Because right. when I left the USA, I kept saying, Deborah, what is wrong with you? Mm -hmm. Why are you copping out? Everybody else is doing the same shit every day. Why are you copping out? Why are you weaker than the rest? Right. I'm like, yeah. and I, I started thinking like them all. And I'm like, tag, I'm done. Yeah. I don't have to live like this. Yeah. Who says I have to be stressed all the time? Who Real estate, being a black real estate agent. First thing, what did you do wrong? Not what did an agent do wrong? Mm -hmm. So when my daughter says she's going to start her own company. Wait, 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 wait. Re explain it to me. I'm not following. For instance, um, something, something goes on with, you know. Oh, I, with, a, with a client. With something. a client. Ah, yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, or, or the deal doesn't go right. Oh, you know? yeah, okay. And it's not our shit. Yeah. And, but but it's always. You, you did it. You, you must have done you, something to right. fail the, you know. Yeah. yeah. There's there's a presumption of, oh, yeah. 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 So I got sick of that. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm, I just, I refuse. 
to live like that. I told my kids, you cannot even bring my ashes back to the United States. God. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I'm serious. Okay, all right. That's a good point. That's a good <laughs> point. That's a good stopping off point. Do God not. damn. Do not. Okay, ladies, um, I'm going to sell if I'm going to get some. You're going to get some. Yes. I'm still good. You're still good? It's, and this is good. good. This is it's good? Not, it's nice and... Mm-hmm. Talk, yo, talk, talk to him, it's, mama. It's, talk, it's talk, really talk. nice and talk smooth. Um, it's not sweet, sweet. Yeah. Um, I don't drink rum without a chaser. <laughs> I can drink this All right. without a chaser. <laughs> You see, Alberta, we're doing a goddamn job. All right, ladies, gentlemen, we will be right back. Right back. Say how. Welkom! Goedemiddag, kan ik u helpen? Alright, I re up. I hate you. I re up. I know we're in the house of Borgu. Yes, we are. But I yes. like the wine. So once you're in the house of Borgu, also come and check out their wines. You're at Café in Grote Berg. And all the other things that make life interesting when it comes to food and drink. They have, again, like I've made a um, thing about uh, that like chili oil that they got. That oh, just, yeah. You haven't, you haven't tried it yet, no, have you? No, my colleagues love it, so. Chili pasture? oil? Yeah, yeah, they got a chili oil like, in there for like 15 guilders. And this thing is just heaven. Like if you like spicy food I don't, or whatever. but my, my friend that's coming. It's pepper. She wants yeah. me to pepper her eggs and I cook her shit separate because okay. she likes a lot of pepper. Right, so right. Everything no, I hear spicy, this, I try to find for her. No, All right. This right here is some dope stuff and it's local too. So, yeah, you know, like you're picking up the, the economy here. So, yes. It's all all right. But let's jump right into it again. Jump right into it. How? Um, we're here still with uh, Miss Deborah with the pink hair. So, what's up with the pink hair? Okay. <laughs> I have a very dear friend here named Aniska. She's from Suriname. Right. But her daughter, my new adopted niece, Tasha, she works international for play international Playboy. Oh. And international Vogue. That is Playboy does Playboy still exist? Yes. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yes, Victor, are people brand? still buying? Yeah. Yes, like you can do. go on the yes. internet and you see all the dig on things and read yes, all the do. readers' but letters. People, but you know, some guys can't. It's another whole subject about me being a, a black <laughs> goddess and, and, and ruling slaves. <laughs> but we'll talk about that another time. But um, What? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I, I'll whip their ass in a minute. <laughs> okay, we're but coming we'll back to this, yes? Yeah? Yeah, sure. um, it's, it's, yeah, it's still going on. But so. She came here to do a photo shoot with her girlfriend, yeah. and she just came out to her mom. Oh. So her mom told you know she's always you know I talked to her about seven months ago, and she was asking me questions, yeah. you know, and, and the mom or the girl, the, 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 the mom's oh, the, daughter, yeah, the okay, daughter. the daughter. So when she gets here, she comes out and tells her mom, okay, mm. and this is my, this is my new girlfriend. So when they come and they work together doing photo shoots, I mean, God, they all in Africa, they in China, they everywhere, they do excellent makeup. So she says. They did a lash on the beach, Mumbo Beach. They had some company ask them to come here and do a okay. lash, some okay. lashes. So then she says, um, this company, International Off, asked them to do a shoot on a senior that's gay. Oh. So she already knew. So she asked me, she said, would you? I'm like, she said, you're going to do a video? I said, I don't sing in public. I ain't, you know, I'm shy. Yeah. I can't do this. You can't tell, but I she's shy. Eh? That's she shy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so I said, I can't do this. I'm because shy. what did they want? They wanted a video. Right. What, yeah. right. I had to. They did me, you know, making a song, doing a It was a nasty ass song, but it was really cute. And I had to dance and do all this and stuff. I even went down to the restaurant in Ochabanda. Yeah. N E T T O. N E. Neto Bar. Neto Bar. Yeah. They took my back. Well, 
So they said, we want to dye your hair. You know, my hair's normally silver. Yeah. Oh. So I'm like, we want to dye your hair. So they had two colors, pink yeah. and green. I'm like, I don't do green unless it's money green. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to go with the pink. So that's how I ended up. It was bright, 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 bright pink. And then they, and it was about this much longer. Yeah. So they spiked it and twisted it all up. I had blue contacts. Stuff. So the whole thing was, they are going after this international gay magazine. Yeah. So they wrote, they... they so they want their story or the pictures published in an international yes, gay magazine? gay magazine. And oh. they asked me to be oh, the model. Okay, okay. So um, I'm walking around. We, her mom lives in Blue Bay. So we're doing this photo shoot over there. And then we run down to the bar. We run down to the beach. I'm in the water naked. I'm doing all Holy this Holy moly. Shit. I curious saw you're naked in the water? Yes. Coming all out the water naked. But even I at the bar. Mambo? At, Were you naked in Mambo? No, we end up we went to Mumbo, but then we end up going to Boca. Oh, Boca Sami. Me. Uh, okay, yeah. Okay. So we did it there. Which is okay. A lot more yeah. Private. A lot more private. Yeah. yeah. So she said, let's do it there. A lot more private. She said, let's do it there because people were trying to follow us. Why? Because I, I had four cameras. I wonder why. I had four cameras and a video camera on me. I've never had them. You know, I'm, again, I'm shy. I'm like, oh shit. Then I wanted to tell the women. We're gonna look, link to I'm this like, thing. I to tell the women, look, my wife died seven years ago. I ain't been around this much booty, and I don't know when. <laughs> and, they, and they, and they, and they, and they got me running around naked, and they eyes like G straight. But so, so the deal was, they wanted, to, they wanted to paint gay as fuck. Yeah. On my back. Yeah. And study. Oh so lord! I'm laying on my back, and they doing all these little stuff. So long story short, we get down to the bar. Yeah. And they said. They put all this oil on me. They said, you have a problem? First off, baby oil? Baby oil all over me, spraying me. Milo, <laughs> Milo, <laughs> we're no, we're not sister. I, I, I know where you're going, I know where you're going. Nope, we're not going yet, yo, nope. Yo, yo, yo. So you're in a bar, to put it on the baby oil. And when I, I left out the house with my boxer shorts, boxer underwear on, and a cape. Holy moly. Riding around, riding around in the you're bar like much that. You're too much for Curacao. Riding around like that. And she's like, when we get in the bar, I want you to walk and drop. Then the bar is active. It's 6.30 in the evening. Oh, my Lord. On a Friday. Yes. And she's God like, damn. Walk and drop what? The, the cake. cake. The cake. I the did the cake. Walk out so. I did my titties like this. Yes. They wanted to get the back. The yeah. gay as fuck. Yeah. Then I had to turn around and do all this and stuff. So it was fun. Across the bar and shit. So I was like, <laughs> but then... They had me do all a video. Them, all they, had me do, they had me do a video, and I'm like, a singing video. I'm like, I don't sing in the shower. Much I don't even sing to my damn self. She says, no. Learn the words. So I'm like, eh. the words were like too hard to get in my brain. She says, move your lips. To my surprise, the shit look good. I was like, oh my God. There you go. They're professionals. I look like. So now you done. had a naked then I noticed my fingernail. And then you. Forget to sing. They know this rainbow. They said, yeah. do. I said, every pride I do this. So anybody yeah. says anything, I was like, fuck you. Yeah, we're recording in Pride Week, y'all. Yes. Pride Curious Pride. Wait, yes. wait, it just started, didn't it? It started last week, Friday yeah. or Friday. Thursday. Friday? Friday. Friday. See. Yes. And it runs for this whole entire week. Yes. Right. And, and so, I'm not sure next week, maybe also a day or no. No, this no, whole entire week. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday it's it. Yeah. Oh, right. It's Sunday. See. There's a boat ride. Right? Yeah, oh, every God. year. I can't wait. Well, they didn't do it last no, year. No, okay. And I was, I was, because I it's heard just, about it before. It's we, just a boat every year except for last kind of year. Ran and, and a huge flag is, the flag flag. is bigger than the boat. Huge, huge rainbow flag. And If you're on, for example, Mambo on Sunday, you're going to see a boat or in town, you're going to see the boat pass by with a huge, huge flag. We're going to be and it's all party. all day. Be naked and boat. shit. You don't know what's going to go on. All bar. Look, look at her. Look at her. I'm looking forward Shy. to it. Okay. I'm okay. Shy, she Wait. says. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> But okay, so you're very proud and out. You have your nails and yes. everything. But you also told us when we were speaking before that you were married to a man. So how did this, years. how did this whole thing what what happened what's the story Okay Morning glory we, here we, we go Back in 82 I've always Holy been Holy 82 so That was a good year that was a good year yes. that was a good yeah. year that was a so really good year I woke up one <laughs> Marla was born probably Yo for real that was a good year I woke up and told my ex-husband with you or without you 800 miles away from DC In 82 I was fed up with DC Yeah oh, I just, I'm okay. just getting away Okay, where, 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 where were you? Are you worried? Washington, D.C. No, no, no. Oh, but you didn't pick out a destination yet. Miami. Okay. I hate fucking cold weather. Okay. So I'm going to Miami. Right, Said, right. Well, no, it started with New Orleans. But then oh, New, New Orleans. Orleans had a big ass ride. So I'm at the airport and I see the weather for Miami. 
my ex-husband, I don't know what the hell he was doing. I went to the counter, like, switched the shit to Miami. So you were actually trying to board to go to New Orleans? Right. But, but I then changed you changed it. it at the, the airport, airport, you changed your ticket. To Miami. All right. In 82, you could do that, trust. Yes. Yeah. No, well, but no, just the, the thinking process and like, stuff. Like, right? yeah. like in 82, you could be at the at the gate. Right. Like, yeah. yo, you know yeah. what? I changed my mind. And that's so, what it is. So, so yeah. we ended up in Good Miami. Times. We went there for two weeks. You and your husband? Yes. Okay. We went he there for came, two weeks. He came along. And I came back and said, with you or without you? You're going I'm, You're going, going back. To or, Miami. I don't want to be in D.C. I hate it. Right. And he did it. Okay. And we went there, and all of a sudden, I'm hanging out. We lived on Miami Beach. Oh, back up a little bit. Before that, we had foster kids. Um, okay. Yeah. I had eight foster boys plus yeah. my two kids. So I had a total of 10 kids. Holy moly. Yeah. How did you travel? By bus? Like, how did you move all the kids? We had big vans. We had, okay. we had a huge ass 16 passenger van. <laughs> and it was an excellent job because the government paid us to take care of the kids. We got a salary, we got free rent, we got free grocery, we got free everything, oh, taxes, wow. all that shit. So the state is not half as bad. The states are not, like, this is... What? This no, is, that was house, in the 80s. Right, I mean, that was the 80s. Was but the 80s, but 80s, even in the 80s, right? my house was here, drugs was there, and prostitution was there. Mm -hmm. And I had kids that had been on their own since they were, like, 10. Yeah. And they come in there and tell me, fuck you. We're not, we don't believe in no bedtime and stuff. Yeah. So that's a whole other story. But in the, So we end up in Miami. With all the 10 kids... No, because okay. that was the DC kids, so we couldn't yeah. take them. Oh, right. we went to oh, Miami, oh. and I said I want to do the same thing. Oh, okay. So I go to Miami and say I want to co-ed home. You want me to act normal? Yeah. Why do I have to have eight boys or eight girls? Yeah. I want to co-ed home. Yeah. Oh, that. Oh, wait. That it was only boys. Was state mandated? Yes. Oh, okay. So, and and yeah. my daughter was also. It was just me and my daughter. Yeah, and then eight ten boys. boys. Yeah. Or ten with my ex-husband and my son and eight other boys. Yeah. So was, okay. So, I'm like, so, I want to co-ed home. Yeah. Because I wanted to teach. So my job was to teach the kids social skills. Yeah. Our job was to teach them social skills. How to live within a family unit. Yeah. Right. Instead of a group home where yeah. you come in eight hours and gone, you come in eight yeah. hours. There's no consistency. That's a nice so we, program. Right. Actually. So we went, it was it was great. So I get to Miami, everything is great. Then I decided I want to take on a part-time job. And I met this woman. And I didn't realize she was seducing me. Oh, Lord. So the lightning bolt hit. Woo! And I, yep, that's what it was, Marlo. The lightning bolt. I said, I'm going to kiss her. And I said, what the hell? You and this is the 80s like, you, still. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, you Sister Samuels. Because I was a sister. I cooked in the church. You know, I was Sister Samuels in the church. Oh, my God. Oh, in the church. In the church. So, you know, so you can't be. Yeah. And you're black. You can't be yeah. gay. Yeah. You know, that's not. That's, that's frowned upon. And so I'm like, oh, shit. So, she was seducing me. I didn't realize it. She asked her boyfriend to come over to our house. We, we did a Thanksgiving thing. We start, well, she moved without the job I had. Yeah. She started working at supervisor said, will you train her? I'm looking at her like, God damn, she's, I don't know where it came from. I'm like, damn, she's cute. And then she, she, we went out to eat. Yeah. And... My ex husband kept saying, oh, she's so cute. Because she kept her hair long. He's like, I wish you let your hair grow again. Da, 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 da. Anyway, we end up. Having an affair, and um, he found out. Oh no! And um, accidentally, or was it a little bit on purpose on your end? No, actually, it was he came home. Oh no, Mr. Bra! He's yeah. supposed to be out of town. No, oh, he no. came home. The kids were gone. Everybody was gone. I thought I had the house to myself. Oh no, man! He came no, home. man! No, I did not. So, oh hell, broke loose. Yeah. So then I was ashamed and embarrassed. Yeah. Then I tried to commit suicide. I'm like, I can't live like this. Okay. So you I'm tell it so blessé. And then I tried to commit suicide. I was like, say, like, yo, you just glossing over that part, man. I'm like, what? Well, I did. You know, it's just like, shit, I, I can't live like this. You know, so you what? Can't wait, wait, wait. You can't All be right, a black woman and gay. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. In the 80s. Was, was the shame towards the being gay black woman or was the shame also? The family, hurting my kids. I was about to say, the like, kids, like, like, like. Even yeah. if you didn't mean to to hurt the homeboy, but I could imagine that you felt like like there was a portrayal there that right. you that you participated. And I did with the foster kids and my two kids. Right. And they all counted on us. Yeah. And so because it was that. broken home, that couldn't happen no more. Then basically. No, I didn't. No, no, it couldn't. But so the government said. Yeah. So when me and my ex husband separate, they allowed him to still run the home. With all the five hundred kids. <laughs> what the heck? 
Yes, with, with the seven thousand kids. With yes, seven. yes, yes. So um, he couldn't handle that by himself. Well, they gave him an aide. They oh. gave him somebody to come in like forty hours. Don't tell me it was some somebody from Thailand, and now they're married no, and living no, happily ever no, after. No, no, no. Wow, no. wow! You no. just right no. no, no, no. She's almost on point. God damn! It was somebody who's already fucking. Oh, you 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 understand that you're recording? <laughs> yeah. People are gonna see this. Yeah. Okay. They know, the, they know the story. Okay. They know okay. the story. No, wait, 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 he was just a cheater. Oh, he was, he was just a cheater. He was happy. He was a cheater. He but was a you cheater. only figured it out afterwards, or afterwards? Oh yeah, okay. Afterwards. You figured it out afterwards. All right, cool. Okay, so one part before that, I ain't gonna tell that part. But yeah, anyway, I found out he was a cheater a little bit before that. But yeah. we had the kids. Yeah, I'm like, right. people make mistakes. Yeah, we're gonna work through this. Okay, so okay, you were willing to going. give up your girlfriends, your affair. You were willing to give up your affair to make it work. Are you no, not no, going to keep them boots? No, no, no. This is before the affair. Okay. Now, when the affair came, he found out. Oh. He wanted us. To, he said, we got a big ass house. We had the foster kids. We had a 27 room house. Whoa. Huge. Like, America had the States was crazy. Yeah, 27 room house. He says, you guys can live here together. Well, you and your girlfriend? With him. And with him? And 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 I was like. Hey, yeah, he didn't want, want, he didn't want to give up the, the, he didn't want to give up the house. Right. Or, Her? Right. Or he thought it were some benefits for him. Of course. Oh, so he wanted to be hated a little. Let, let me get in the middle. Like the, I, I love the way you just put. Yo, yo, that's, uh, that's yeah. exactly what it was. He thought it was going to be. So I'm like, nope, that's not going to work. So and I, and I figured too, you 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 love me all you. I said he told me yeah. he was going to marry me in the third grade. Yeah. So right. I, how could I live? He, somebody's going to flick off in the middle of the night. And hurt somebody. No, but so I decided this is not going to be good. Mm -hmm. So I decided, fuck it, I'm just going to die. So I ain't got to deal with none of this shit. Mm -hmm. It's just easier just to leave. Uh, what's it called? What's it called a permanent solution to a temporary problem? Which but temporary but but problem? but, I think. What I did what that. did you think about for the kids? Sorry, were the kids a factor? At that point, no, nobody was. God, no, nothing. No. God, no. nothing. I tried to read the Bible that you? night. I don't know, because I tried to read the Bible that night to change my mind. I threw the Bible across the room and said, fuck it, I don't care. I don't want to be here, because I'm not going to live a lie, and I can't come out. I knew my mother and everybody was going to be like, oh my God, my friends. So my ex-husband, he calls my best friend that lived in St. Thomas at the time. She flew in unbeknownst to me, going to take me to a strip club. She's going to get me. Wait, so he called your friend. This this is before the suicide attempt. So he called your friend to like to talk it like talk some sense into talk you. Talk some sense into me. Oh, uh, okay. Before you kill yourself. So yes. he knew that you wanted to do that. Well no, he didn't Nate, he, he just knew I was gay. He well I told him you know, I'm dealing with women. So he figured out. No, so not, not for the suicide, but to make her straight again. Right. So he called my so, best friend and so, so she's gonna shame me. So the friend took you to Chippendales. He did, like she yes, didn't that was the idea. I was yes. thinking just pussy, just no, you know, no, no, all the way. Next, like you know, friends, the friend saw you like your girl finally. Come, let's go. <laughs> no, you know, you know the like friends were supposed like, to get her back on the straight and narrow <laughs> because straight obviously straight narrow, she's she already confused. talking. My ex husband and her were already talking. She's I confused. Ah, she's going right. through a phase. Bring her back to her and regular no, self. That's right, but that, like what strip club, like male strip clubs in the yeah. it was just. It was steroid and white, and white, and white boy. I'm like, 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 way to turn a lesbian more lesbian. You know? <laughs> right, right. Throw dicks in my face. Yeah. This is what you're missing. Right, right, right. <laughs> and I told him, I've had the best, and I'm done. I just, oh, it, didn't, it just didn't work. Wow. I love like, wow. That's the best. That's wow. the least. I, I love men. Wow. I'm, and I told my wow. friend, I love men. Yeah. But I don't want to. I don't want a relationship no more. Yeah. And I think it was going on even when I was younger. Yeah. But you know, you, 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 you didn't know you, know, you didn't, know, you didn't that, have the language, that, you didn't that, have the perception. And you couldn't and you the pressure. The social pressure is real at that point. The social I, pressure and, is and real at that point. I jumped up and joined the church. I mm -hmm. became Sister Samuels. Sister Samuels. That's how I'm going to call you from now. I cook Samuels. 3 days a week in the church and you know I spent hours in the church. I'm I'm, I'm trying to trying to work this shit out. Yeah. You know, then I'm like Mm -mm. You try to take your life. Man, you want to live? Like no, 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 go no, ahead, no, go ahead, no, 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 no. I'm still trying to you know, get the story because, like timeline. Yeah, because because I'll I'll give an anecdote, but it's a short one, and mm -hmm. just I, I was accused accused. 
out like like it was lobbed at me from young. Oh, oh, he gay. Oh, he's gay. Whatever, whatever, whatever right? Mm-hmm. And I spent a, like too much time trying to like prove against it. But there was a moment. There was a moment of clarity where it was like, oh no, really, I'm not because I could see. And this is my like. This is my like analogy. Like I could see a, a badly built woman in a burlap sack, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> a burlap yo. sack. No, I could see Brad Pitt naked, half naked, and it does nothing for me. Nothing does, for you. Right. Absolute. Right. It's not like, oh no, 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 no. It's more like, eh, all right, bye. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, yeah. all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. And, and that and that for me is like, like to ask that is to ask a question. You said that you got into the church. You, you said you try to like work it out or whatever. My 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 question to you was there like sparks that stood out to you in your young life that like like oh like oh like that girl cousin of yours are like god damn like oh she grew up this week yeah like, maybe like when I was maybe in my mid twenties a friend of mine we won't mention names she was no. sexy as hell sexy and, as hell and I had my 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 mother and my relationship wasn't good so she was older mm-hmm. and I kept saying it was like a mother thing no 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 the bitch was just sexy. Mm-hmm. But I didn't go to the extreme of like hey, 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 hey. I didn't know I didn't know you know what to do. The bitch was but, but, but I, just to, I just wanted to be with her. Hey, Miss Parker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what, oh, oh, oh that's exactly what it was. Hello, how, how you doing, Miss like, Parker? No, you, <laughs> you know, you can't do that kind of shit. Yeah. So uh, I pushed it back to the yeah. side until Miss Cora came and seduced me. She did. She just seduced me. She did oh, seduce me. That, she that's your story, and you're sticking, sticking to, to it. it. She seduced me. <laughs> you ain't had no game. I, you ain't had, had nothing no to do with it. Then she started. Hit, nah, let's, but here's. Let's, let's go to the beach. Let's do a sand <laughs> bath. Now we're doing a Hit. sand bath. We got sand. What we got to do when we go to her house? We got to do what? Yeah, you have we to shower. shower. Of course. And she walks out butt naked. I'm like, oh shit. Nah, oh, but here's, no, but here's no, but here's no, but here's smooth. Wait, 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 no, but here's where I I call just a little bit of bullshit on that story. Okay, go ahead. Because I I see you, mm-hmm. I see you, mama, I mm-hmm. see you. Okay, you got you like you know like like in the West Indies we say like you got chat for days. Okay, you got lyrics. You 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 got you got chat. Okay. I do not believe that this woman fling word at you was like, hey, yo, baby, what's going on with you? Ooh, you yes, she did. <laughs> and I refuse to believe that you was just like. Well, no, because of course I didn't. I didn't want to read into shit. I didn't know. I honestly didn't know. And Until half of your ego, so, half so, half so, your so what happened? Culture, so, you like didn't Thanksgiving? Of course I'm fine. So, of course so, I'm like. So she comes over to the house. Her boyfriend and my ex husband they go play basketball. Right. So, yeah. At court, she 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 put all this shit together. Let's go Thanksgiving dinner together. Mm-hmm. Right. And she kissed me in my kitchen, and I ran in the bathroom in my own fucking house, and I stayed in the bathroom for twenty five minutes. God damn. I couldn't come out. I couldn't come out to visit. It? Was it because you were too turned on? I was like, I, I, was, I, was, I was scared and turned on, and I didn't know. I was like, "What the hell? Yeah, this can't happen." Yeah, right. you you know your kids. We all gonna sit at the table, so we sit at the table. She's oops, Sorry. she's keeping me under the table and shit. Uh, Stupid shit. That Stupid is shit. one. Um, yeah, persistent yeah. woman. Yes, yes. Yeah. So. It, it By the way, we love years. persistent women here yes. on, on the Drunken Monks yes. podcast. Yes. I don't know oh. about you. We love persistent women. I, 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 it all depends. Continue the story. It all depends. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. But, all right, mama. Uh, yeah, ahead, it all depends yeah. on being persistent. Because sometimes you can be too damn persistent. You can yeah. Hey, this yeah. re- stop and shit. Disrespectful. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Because all, you know, just like I tell people with guys, don't assume because I'm gay I want to go with you. Because you, you know. Like I used to tell my straight girlfriends, they would hug me like, Bitch, you're not my type. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you're not my type. So go on and hug me like you used to hug me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not yeah. my type. Yeah. So you know they you're in the friend zone. That. Yeah, you, you're in the friend, friend zone. They, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. they ain't not gonna happen. Ain't nothing gonna happen with that. Yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. So um, it was. I'm glad I came out. Yeah. My granddaughter even told me the other day. I was talking to her and I says. You know, Grandma's really shy. I'm trying to come out of my shell. She said, Grandma, it's 68. When are you going to come out of your shell? She says, Grandma, you're not gay. She, you're not shy. She says, you came out gay. She it's said, this. Yeah, but she that's what she knows. Eh? She knows a great gay grandma. Yeah. She doesn't know the before you. No. She, yeah. yeah. And she's just like, wow. But they, they thought it was just... I didn't realize how cool they thought it was. Right. That I didn't hide it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. We're like... 
Remember, you out, you do what you want to do, you live your life. But, 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 because now you're cool, you're out, you're proud, you're loud, you're walking in bars yeah. naked, My apparently. Wife out like gay that. as fuck, apparently. Yeah, yeah gay yeah. as fuck. Gay as fuck. But, 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 wait, because you were at the verge of killing yourself. Mm -hmm. And then now you're out and proud and gay as fuck. Like what? Mm -hmm. what like how what did that? Happen? Yeah. What, what happened? What happened? How did the process go? Mm -hmm. I got another chance at life, and I said somebody found you or something. I, or well, or you did. Yeah, my ex-husband found me in the house. Oh, okay. I sent them on a. We had a get. We had the foster kids. We were supposed to take yeah. them on a dinner yeah. boat ride and shit. And I told everybody to go. I don't feel good. Yeah. Because I knew what I was going to do. Yeah. And he came in the house and found me. Right. Okay. You know, and I left a note and just say, tell the kids yeah, I yeah, got yeah, sick. Yeah. And die. Yeah. Right. And then he rushed my ass to the hospital. Okay. My stomach, all that bullshit. You know. Yeah. Two weeks on suicide watch. But then, but then, but then, what was the turnaround? Like, what she's like, like, like asking, what's the turnaround? Looking at my children and realizing I got a second chance. Okay. And realizing being gay ain't the worst shit in the world. But so wait, wait. So you were two weeks on suicide watch. Mm -hmm. Then you have to go home. Oh, yeah. To your twenty-seven bedroom house with five thousand kids. Yes. And then, and then, was and shitty. Like and it was, was shitty. Four, like, it was four. Forty thousand out there. Yeah, so, a bunch yeah. of those. Yeah, yeah. In the grocery store, I got three shopping carts, and wow. I got a Spanish That's kid, and I got there. this kid there, and they're like, "Hey, mom, yeah. mind you, I was twenty three when I took this job." So but I, it's also incredible that the state would give a twenty three year old ten kids. Yes. yes. And look, look, the oldest kids were seventeen. And you're twenty three. Like this and I'm twenty three. This is bonkers. So, right. so, yeah, ma, your big sis at that so, point. Right, right. Chi Chi. Yeah. I'm a goddamn Chi Chi for real. Yeah. So, so the seventeen year old comes one night. He says, you sleep with your husband every night. Yeah. No, you're going to be bored. Uh-uh. Wow. Uh-uh, Lord. So, you know. I, I, I likes you. I like you. And I want you. I want you. Yeah. I'm like, Paul, let, let me see you. Anyway, it's not right. Blah, blah, yeah. blah. And I talk to him. So I go upstairs and lay down. I say, you can't go to sleep on this bitch. You got to tell your husband what the hell this kid just said to you. Yeah. So, so I'm like, John, wake up. I tell John what happened. And he says, What? He flies out the bed, wanna go confront the kid. I'm like, calm down. Yeah. So then I, you know, we had a meeting with the government the next day to say, hey, this is what's going on. That's to go. You know what they told me? Stop walking around the house in shorts and shit. Yeah. Oh my It's gosh. your fault. It's my fault. How dare you? How dare you walk I'm around in shorts? Looking all fine and, and, and oil and, and, yeah. and Don't do that. Whistling and shit. Yeah. So <laughs> and I told him, fuck you. Yeah. You know? And yeah. we end up not. The government messed up. They were paying us hourly wages. Yeah. Labor board wow. company said, no, 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 no. You owe them salary. They sleep here. Yeah. So they owed us almost like triple salary. Yeah. So mm -hmm. they were like, we're not going to do that. But the government made them pay us. So then they said, we're not going to keep you on staff. Mm -hmm. So I said, and I'm like, we're going to Miami anyway. So we went to Miami and started the same. That's when yeah, I got my co-ed so, home. So, yeah. so I got my co-ed home in Miami like right. I wanted. Worst thing I ever did in my life. Yeah, the, yeah, the I boys did. and the girls. Yes, I mean, I was, but, they're no, teenagers. But to commit suicide was not the worst thing in your life. <laughs> Dealing <laughs> with teen, y'all don't know, guys. The goddamn y'all don't Girl, know. Females. Oh my god, they have teenage, a bunch of teenage females in there. Yo, I now man. understand why they said no co at homes. I, yo, now when I was yo, yo, on that, yo, my yo. thing was, you want me to be a real family. You know, I mean, not saying the family can't have eight boys, nine boys, and one, one girl, girl. No, but it's, my daughter. But I wanted it's to, to yeah, I and I also, you, but I, I understand teenagers them, as well. So I also want to try to teach them respect of women and people and stuff. You know, uh, I would take them out to like the fancy restaurants. Even the government would get pissed when I give them the receipts. They're like, "Why?" I said, "You telling me to teach them how to greet people." How to do eye contact? You want me just taking the fucking McDonald's? Nothing no. like practical <laughs> experience. And, and, right, and I'm taking them out to nice. You're just an OG man. I see you, a gangster. I yeah, see you, a gangster yeah, ways. Yeah, yeah, too. Yeah, too. Plus the government. No, but wait, but wait, but wait, but wait. But we off. We off on a tangent because I want to yeah. get back to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah go yeah, back. Go back. What was the moment that you was like in your deepest depths? You got caught. You got all this. You got a second chance at life. But then, what was the moment that like it clicked for you? Like, oh. You know what? I should live. I should go forward. I should try to do more. I should try to be. A, and you were talking about the kids, but looking at my children, right. and realizing I got a second chance to watch them grow up. Mm. You know, to, watch to, them grow up. to watch them grow up. Watch that's them grow that. Up that, and that be there that's for the them. thing. Okay. Yeah. And then I realized, fuck my mama and everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. When did you realize, fuck your mama? Because like, because I was I was because I didn't want to deal with them talking about me. Because my mama would say, How old were you at that point? 
But we don't know how she looked in the 90s, so. Well, the same, but, my, but the term, okay, think about it. My mom born in 1932. Yeah. So it's okay. all we knew, Bull Yo, it's just Bull Dykes. That's it. Yeah. Bull Dykes. Yeah. You're going to burn in hell. We have, we. And you're going to make the whole family shameful. Lord she help me. She said those things? Oh my God. Worse. Mm. So I just said, fuck it, I don't want to be here. Then I realized. How old, but how old were you when, when the fuck it happened? 20s. Oh, young, yeah. young, young. Young. 27. God. Damn! So many things happen before you turn 20. Like, how many things can happen before you're 27? Uh, uh, well, before you're 30? Well, well, think about what we talked about earlier. Yeah. That we ain't going on. So you think about from five on up. Wow. That that was the shit. Wow. Dealing with that. Wait a minute. Dealing all with right. being molested all your life. And it's out. Yeah. We gonna get demonetized in this motherfucker, but we don't care. All right. Boom. You were what now? As I was telling Denise earlier, in which my son has no problem with it, my son is by my so-called dad. Your so-called dad? Yeah, he, well, he's my, he's my dad. I call him my so-called fucking dad because I don't want to call him my dad. I call him Glenn. That's his name. Right. So he molested me from the time I was five. What I can remember from five. I don't know mm -hmm. when it fucking really started. Probably started yeah. sooner. But I remember from five until I ran away at 16 and a half. And I was, when I got pregnant at 15... They told me I couldn't go back to school. I'm like, I'm yeah, educated. We, I love school. Yeah, but they had those decency shits back yeah. right, then. Right, like, right. And it wasn't even law. It was like school po policy. Right, uh, right. But it's still here, the case. Yeah. I'm and curious it, how. They, <laughs> they pretend it's not so. But for yo, the longest of a while, once you show, you have to go. Yo. I don't miss, know oh, how. Really? Miss Annika, yeah. my mom, was president of the school board for a long time. And she had to try to... Navigate those waters because she always is for the woman. She always, always for is, the woman, and she's always for whoever's been abused or whatever the mm -hmm. fuck. But she had to figure out how to find a way to like stem the tide and all that type of yeah. shit. If you wow. show your goal, kudos to her. No, but for real, dog. Like, and that was again when I was coming up, when I was a kid, or yeah. whatever. So, so think, but, but, think but what happened? So you were you got my pregnant? mom made me drop out of school. I couldn't yeah, go back to and school. Then, so you so didn't I, you didn't go back to school. I, I couldn't go back to school. Oh. And my mother's brother stepped in. And he says, my mother did this shit to me, and you will not do it to my niece. Oh, wow. So I missed a year and a half of school. Wow. And I'm like, I got a baby. Big ups to your uncle. Yeah, I got to get out of school. I went to talk to my counselor at school, and she says, that's what you have to do, Deborah. You have to go to summer school day and night. Oh. And you can't get less than a B, and we'll skip you two grades. Wow. Which was okay, but then you think about it as you get older. Two, two years of missing yeah. schooling, that ain't that's no a, damn joke. Nope. So no, just no you know, punctuations and shit for English and shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, but no. You know, that, that didn't come. Yeah. I had to teach yourself. Yeah. Because I went from I went from ninth grade to eleventh grade. Wow. So but it's not just but it's not just missing that too. It's missing out on the socialization. It's missing out on what prom. socialization. It is huh? It is missing out on all that shit. So I didn't like get you, to do any of that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So but you did end up going back. When you in the eleventh grade, so after two right. years, you right. went then back. Then my uncle finally convinced my mom to let me go back to school. Oh wow! He pretty much paid for my son's babysitter and everything, and just like because wow. every time he put my son up for adoption, because right. of course Glenn, the man, the, the dad, was like, "This bastard's not coming in my house," because he knew what the hell yeah. was up. Yeah. So my mom was weak. At, well, I thought she was weak, but she was listening to her husband, and they were putting him up for adoption. And my uncle said, "Hell no." Oh wow! And can I ask something? Mm -hmm. And and like if it's too personal, let no, me know, ahead. right? I don't open it up, shit. Did your son end up looking like him? Isn't that funny? I told you that. Yes. Like 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 you couldn't. Yes. You don't need no DNA. You don't need yes. no DNA. Yes. Test. It's like it's like yes. Yo, Everybody knew similar. what's up. Yeah. yeah. And of course, my my brother looks. You know, family resemblance. So nobody yeah. thought anything. So I had to tell a lie yeah. that I was sneaking away from school and fucking somebody. Because I couldn't say, what the fuck yeah. I'm gonna say, my dad's baby? Yeah. I couldn't say that. So now I'm a hoe. Did somebody put you to that line or did you figure that shit out on your own? I had to figure it out. Because I, 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 I couldn't say that it was Glenn's baby. Because he took, well, what, 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 what my so called dad did, he kept a rifle in the closet. He was very abusive to my mother and stuff. And he kept a rifle. And he told me, I will blow everybody's fucking brains out in here if you say anything. 
And he, he convinced me that social service would take us all away and we'll never see each other. So I stayed, I kept it a secret yeah. from my siblings and I didn't want him to blow our brains out. I mean, he beat the shit out of my mother. He shot at my mother. Yeah. So what the fuck? He's going to shoot us too. He's going to kill me if I tell. So it didn't come out until I was 21. I was away from home. I called there to speak to my mom. He yeah. gets on the phone and he says, how's my son doing? And my mom didn't hang up the phone. Oh. Arrogant motherfucker. My mom oh, didn't hang up the phone. Holy, and she holy. went off. But she blamed me. Yeah. And she told all the neighbors. And it was like, I thought so and so was his dad. I'm mm, like, oh, no, but that's shit. no, but no, but yeah. But look. you know, all I say all of this, and people say that, you know, you're a survivor of incest and shit. No, I'm a thriver. No, oh, I love that. I'm a thriver. I yeah. love that. Salute you know, for that. You know. Cheers on that one. Yeah, because life life is beautiful. You know, I got a second chance. So you got a lot of second chances, but how do you, how do you, uh, I don't know so if it's reinvent yourself, how do you um, keep going and see the positive things, the positive side of life What's after the all these really big traumas that, that seem to keep happening? Because I've always had a dreams as a kid of doing and being who I wanted. And I'm like, all these fucking obstacles can't stop me. You didn't die when you tried to commit suicide. You got another chance. Yeah. So even even with the shit going on as a kid, you know, being abused, because I was telling these earlier, he created a job of cleaning offices so he can take me out and fuck me in the evenings. Jesus. So I had to deal with that and come back home. Yeah. And then my mom would beat me for whatever reason. Yeah. I did something. No. Yeah. You was mad because your husband was molesting me and you took it out on me. And later on, you know, we didn't have a talk talk about it. I went off on her and told her she knew. And then on her dying bed, she admitted. And she said she was sorry. And I said, I forgive you. Yo. I forgive you. You had an abusive-ass husband. You? Yeah. You were scared. You were scared. You had seven kids to take care of. That's a lot for a woman. Yeah. And, and I saw the office. My mother's mouth was sitting open like this. This white cop comes and says, go in the house and be a good wife. Mm. So I knew right then and there, oh shit. Mm. Yeah. And I refused to ever have that in my life. Yeah. Mm. That was one of my rules with, with, with relationships. You will not put your hands on me. Yeah. You're gonna get fucked up. Yeah. You know. So you know, life is, you know. So I, that's why I live my life like I want on my terms. Because yeah. I, I I tell everybody I gave my life up for everybody as a kid to keep the family together. You know, all that. So yeah. I, I do what I want, when I want, and I make no excuses for it. And you ain't got to like it. Yeah. You ain't got to like it. Yeah. You don't. You know? So when my, my son didn't want me to leave, other people were saying, what are you doing? You giving up your real estate career and this and that? I'm going to go live. Yeah. And then my wife died. We were on vacation. She dropped dead. So on like, vacation. On vacation. We're going to... <laughs> like, how many things can happen in a we're life? 2000, June, May, May 17th, 2017. We're in Atlanta. Her sister lives in Atlanta. My granddaughter, my youngest granddaughter at the time, lived in Atlanta. She was graduating from, um, um, uh, shit. The big black college there. Goddamn, you joined. Morehouse. No, no, no. Well, part of Morehouse. Um, Spelman. She was, oh, she was Spelman. Spelman, yeah. Spelman, Spelman. And she was graduating with honors. And I bust my ass with real estate and said, anything you want. She's like, Grandma's a trip going to Paris. Grandma, I want a red iPhone. Red iPhone was something special that came out. And I kept saying, nothing in this fucking world is going to stop me mm. from being at my baby's graduation. Right. Yeah. Patricia dies the night before the fucking graduation. Holy moly. For the graduation, I'm sitting in a morgue. Oh. I didn't make it to the graduation. So they also taught me. Mm. You watch what you fucking say. Mm. Watch what you manifest. Watch, yeah. Because I, I was on cloud nine. Yeah. Well, I, I would say that I was on cloud 90, 199. I would say that was my thing. My baby's graduating. The only thing we had to do was pay administrative fees. She got a full scholarship. Now, what happened was Saturday before Patricia died, she was um, Victoria in the class. So we got to, Patricia got to see yeah. that on yeah. stage. Yeah. But the morning of graduation, Patricia was dead. Wow. We partied that night. Got videos, and Patricia's closeted. As out as I am, she's closeted. So I'm dancing with her in front of her. I'm just in a weird relationship. I'm dancing. She's like, mm. but that <laughs> night, but that <laughs> night, she sung 
my girl to me. Yeah. Because they her and her sister karaoke freaks. They they sung, you know, my girl, and then she sung to me everything she put in the face. Everything is gonna be all right. Wow. And she didn't make it the first one. Wait, 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 wait. She's closeted, but you were married. You were married? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But she didn't want us to be out, out, out in public. Uh, you know, I, I just there's, had to keep, I had, I had to tame it down. Yeah. I, there's, I there's put a the big gay flag out front. Yeah, I had yeah, to put yeah, the yeah. little gay flag out back. There's levels <laughs> you know, that shit. That there's, kind of shit. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. couldn't hold hands yeah. in the streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, but you can fuck me under the sheets. Yeah, so I had to yeah, say yeah, stuff yeah. like that to her. You can hold my pussy, but you can't hold my hand? What the fuck are you talking about? Then she says, well, you know, I work for the government. So now you're retired from the fucking government. Yeah. So what the fuck are we doing? Right, but she's still, you know, and I had to learn. All right, Deborah. Turn it down a little, down. little bit. Respect her privacy. Yeah. Now, now, okay, I won't put the big, big, big ass gay flag out back, but I'm gonna put a flag up. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna have my gay parties. Yeah. You know, she was all for the parties. So the subdivision we moved in, uh, you couldn't have a six foot fence. So I'm like, okay, we're not getting this house. We're gonna go back to the woods because I don't need anybody telling yeah. me about women on my deck kissing yeah. and call, you know going through that shit. Right. So you know, we end up working it out. It was beautiful. My best friend. And the best relationship I've ever had in my life for 30 years. Wow. 30 beautiful years. So, so, so 2017 is when she died. May, May 24th, 2017. And you're here for two years. So what yeah. happened between 2017 and 2022? I decided. Especially COVID was going on. Right, too, like as right, well. like, right. And, 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 that, and that's when I decided. Yeah, and all, the illness, and, and and all, and all your illnesses. Right, and, all, and it made it worse because she left and I wasn't really doing all the shit I should be doing. I was drinking right, right, shit. Right, 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 My right, pancreas, right. I'm throwing up. I'm going through change. I'm in the hospital all the time, blah, blah, blah. And um, I just said, you know, you can be the country. She's not here. Yeah. You know, nothing holding Because she didn't want to leave. Yeah. She says, and we had made an agreement just yeah. before she died with yeah. social media. I can see you. Yeah. So I'm gonna go. We're gonna go somewhere for two months. Yeah. I mean two weeks. Yeah. And you go back, and you, I'm gonna come back when I get back. So the what, wait, the idea was you stay. So you mm -hmm. go together. You stay. And, I, and she then, goes back and play yeah. house. Yeah. She want to garden, do all this shit. You go back and do that, and I'm gonna hang out. Now mm -hmm. the beauty of it was, her sons worked for the state department. So I'm like, oh shit. There's gonna be grandkids, and he lives every three years. He gotta go to a different country. Oh yeah, so, like, so you oh, need shit. to visit We're gonna them. travel. We gonna travel. travel. We gonna yeah. travel. And she died. Mm -hmm. How did I hit you? Like how did I hit you? Being the one that was six for six for thirty years in our relationship, and I used to call her the ox. Yeah. She never even got a fucking cold. Yeah. To have a massive fucking heart attack. Right. And die. Yeah. Wow. It was devastating. The worst thing I had to do was call her son in Israel. And say your mom's gone. Did you have, like, are you still processing it? Like, right now? Are you still dealing with it? Thursday is her birthday. I woke up this morning and says, hmm, why are you in a shitty, yeah, why are you, why are you feeling like this? But I promised myself this year, I'm not going to mope. I'm going to celebrate right. her life. Because mm. that she would want it. We, we were partying, you know, even though she was, we threw parties. We, we celebrate. Yeah. And yes, we celebrate yes, life. Okay, so, just breaking protocol yes. for a minute. Continue talking. Yeah, please. man, breaking protocol. Yes. Breaking protocol. So, Fuck it. This is so, a special episode, Dad. So we just enjoyed life. And the thing is, for her to sing that song, everything's going to be all right. So my, my kids know I don't like stuffed animals. They collect fucking dust and all that shit. I ain't got time for that. But I'm sitting at the restaurant. My, my daughter says, Mom, meet us at the restaurant. We're going to have dinner. She comes in with this big ass build a bear box. I'm like, I know that shit not for me. It's gotta be for one of the grandkids, yeah. and she gives it to me. And she says, Ma, straighten your face up. <laughs> Come on, Jay. I'm looking at my daughter like, Jay, you know better. But I'm, she's like, Ma, take it out. So then she says, Pinch the hand. And it was Patricia's song in it. Everything's oh. gonna be all right. And all I could do is cry. Yeah, everything's gonna be all right. But now, to Patricia. Seven years later, the teddy bear, I've changed the tape three times because it doesn't last that long because you're pushing it, pushing it. Because when I, in some moments, I would lay, turn over in the bed, and I kept it in the bed, and I didn't, I wasn't touching it, and I lay on it, and she started singing. Oh, yeah. But now the tape is beginning to drag, so when it drags, I would replace it. Now yeah. I'm not in the United States. Yeah. So I told my daughter, I said, you know, Jay, it's seven years. Maybe I shouldn't put the tape back in there. Maybe, Maybe yeah. I should get rid of the thing. I said, because when it drags, like, it almost reminds me of her dying. Yeah. So just go. Go yeah. without it. Yeah. Go without it. You know, so... I'm planning this year to get rid of the teddy bear. I even went on a dating site, finally. It's been seven years. 
Oh, Salute the dairy side. They suck um, though. Dairy side sucks. I don't all right. Know. We're going to have to invite you back because I want to hear about the date. I want to hear about a lot of stuff. But unfortunately, we got to wrap it up. Yes. Because, because the time. Yes. Just if you can leave us, us and the viewers, yeah. with one piece of advice, one wise lesson you learned, something that motivates you. Yeah. One might say. Yeah. A gift. Be true to yourself. And live your life. Because guess what? You only got one. And all you need is one if you truly live it. If you truly live your life. And fuck everybody else. Live your life. Because your kids get grown too. Yeah. That's they get grown. Is. And then they do shit that you don't even like. That's yeah. what it is. So live your life. That's what it is. You know? Live your live life. Live your life. Because you don't know when. Yeah, exactly. Live your life to your best of your ability. Like I tell people, I'm, I'm here on a small retirement check. Yeah. But so, I'm living my life like I, I, on my terms. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm happy. I'm healthy. I'm meeting great people. Yes, yeah, salute. I'm going to write that book. Shit, shit. I'm write the book. Out, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out. No, no. But me and you did enough, so like she got to do something now too as well. No, I'm good. Oof. No, no yeah, this is, this, is, this is enough, Oof. right? No, but I, I want to add something to this, but I want to pour as well. So, so goddamn. Okay. <laughs> thank, thank you, darling. No, I had, like, like I'm going to add to your thing, like, one last time. Like, um, I had a conversation with one of my, with one of my best friends. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about how in our um, circles that there's a lot of, for us, I'm not going to go into detail, but for us there's a lot of not life right now. You know what I mean? I'm not going to give it word beyond what it is. And we, you know, he's a little kind of depressed, and he was telling me about this and that and whatnot. And, and I told him, look, the the fragility of life is fucked up because I had my own brushes with death too, like as well. And you're always one step away from death. You always one step away from death. But I told him that something that I figured out, like in the last month, you're also one step away from life. True that. You're True one that. step away from life. The, the the same distance. Same distance. Like like you could literally pick up yourself and decide. All right, you know what? I'm gonna do something for myself or for some for, for somebody or whatever. You can make life more interesting, more beautiful, more colorful, vibrant, mm -hmm. whatever the fuck you want to call it. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to be, you know, quote unquote, um, like going on vacation or quote unquote this or that. It could be as something as simple as like making sure that somebody's straight. Straight. And my you feel thing. good with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Like, my simple thing is laying on my sofa with my foot propped up, listening to the birds sing here. Because they sound much happier than our birds. I, my friends on the phone, they like, what's that in the background? It's like, that's the birds. It's like, oh, they sound so pretty. What's the bird here? Two, Through PL. Oh, my God. Mockingbirds. I, I'm, 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 I'm videotaping it. And I, I put my camera outside. And my sister's like, you should make that a motivation tape. That's <laughs> right. So... I want to, what I want to say before I leave, you guys have taught me a lot living here. I, I put a bucket in the shower to save water, to Amen. water my plants, Amen. all that kind of shit. I also, I also cut the water on, wet myself, shower, boop, 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 cut the water off, yep. scrub down. That's what my mom taught, taught, taught but, me. You know, we, we did, like I said, we did 10, 15 minute showers in the United States. Yeah. yeah. So, and I realized that when my guests come, yeah. I say that to them. I say, you can do it where you want, but this is how we do it here. Yeah. And they're like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Right. I've rinsed out Ziploc bags. Yeah, <laughs> I that's went. that's my grandma. Show. <laughs> oh, my yeah. grandma used to do it. Same with them. Hey, hey, yo, hey, hey, we're gonna go. We're yeah. gonna go. Yeah. We're yeah. gonna invite yeah. you back because yeah, the story ain't done. To it. And before we go, I have to correct myself. I said that the troupeal is a mockingbird, and Marco is gonna kill me. And she's an honorary monk, so I'm gonna say you know, the troupeal is an oriole, and the chuchubi is a mockingbird. It's an oriole. It's an oriole. It's Merlin bird is an oriole. The orange. Oh, yeah. But it's not as pretty as your bird, yeah. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Y'all got a green bird with sequins on it? I just, I, I'm in love. I'm anyway, in love with this island. Y'all got to give this woman an ambassadorship, man. Yeah, what if, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, yeah. we're done, we're done. Yeah. Guys, but, hey, Deborah, thank you for My being pleasure. here, man. Thank you for being here. 
Oh, my God. <laughs> on that Get big head of mine. No, no, no. Before you go home, no. No, 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 no. The wife knows. The wife knows. Really? Like, yo, Dre, that's a danger. I because, just... because she married a man that's so pretty. Oh, whatever. Hey, what, hey, what, 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 you are a very handsome young man. Thank you very much, that man. What is going Thank on? You. Deborah, the bargo is walking. <laughs> the bargo is walking. Walk your partner. Hey, guys. No, but guys. Thank you guys for inviting me. One last time. One last time. Hey, guys. Thank you. Yeah, the last drop for me. I look forward to it. One hell of an episode. And, um, ooh, I Thank you. Um, thank you, Deborah. Thank you for being here. My pleasure. Thank, thank you for, for your time. honesty. For real. And we're going to continue That's this uh, conversation. Let's do that. I look forward to it. Guys, peace. 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 We out.